Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anita Cheesecake, drag queen extraordinaire, and today we are going to be testing out the Model Actress Lipstick from Trixie Cosmetics and the Mod About You Blush Palette as well as showing you my signature makeup look. So without further ado, I'm going to pull my hair back and I'm going to glue down my brows and I will be right back. Hello and welcome back. I'm bald, fully bald eyebrows, fully bald head. Not really. Um, but we are finally ready to begin the makeup transformation. So we are going to grab my Maybelline 30 hour foundation. This is a drugstore foundation but it actually works pretty well for me. Maybe because I've never tried a high-end foundation because broke. I'm just gonna squirt a little bit on this beauty blender. I use kind of a lot because I have a lot of skin texture. So many, so much stuff, a lot of skin texture anyway. But yeah, I'm just gonna place this on. It's very yellow. I think I wasn't able to try it on the store because uh, like we aren't able to touch anything. Uh, it's an okay match, at least in tone, like lightness. It's just a little yellow for me, but it's just to kind of get like a base cover. So it's not super important. Also, I'm using this bronzer as a mirror. It's kind of nice. Actually, I got it for free because I shopped at Ulta. So I'm really just brutally attacking my face with this foundation, especially on the lower half of my face for right now. And then I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to go in on my eyebrows and try to cover them because if you can find a good drugstore foundation to cover eyebrows, then it's like amazing. Cause eyebrows are really hard to cover. If you're into it, like see the brows kind of disappearing now. Do you live? Do you live? Are you living honey? I have a mirror over here by the way. So if I look over there, it's just cause I can't see anything. <laughs> oh yeah, hi bald, hi bald egg. Basically, I'm going from Bart Simpson to Marge Simpson, <laughs> hopefully. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good coverage of foundation. This is just kind of for a base layer. So what I'm going to do next is I kind of like to do my eyes next because they take over so much real estate that if you do them the last, then you're kind of wasting a bunch of foundation powder and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the NYX, that's the point liner. Very cute. Isn't it adorbs? Okay. And it has a Sharpie tip. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to outline a shape for my eyes. I'm trying to do something a little bit new for me. So obviously great time to experiment is on a YouTube video that's going live to a bunch of people. Like 10, 10, 10 whole people. Uh, line this eye. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared y'all, cause this is, very permanent. Can you kind of see the shape that I'm creating? I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit lighter with it for right now. Of course, I can't always change it later if I really feel like it, but I'm gonna try to get it right the first time because it's kind of important. Okay. And you see, I'm actually, I'm doing something a little bit different from Trixie. My makeup is very, very, very Trixie, but I like to take a bit from Rock'em Sakura, a little bit of kimchi, mix it in. So I'm doing it right down on my nose. So it's going to go in a little bit with the white liner. Okay, this is kind of the shape that we're looking for. Isn't it kind of lit? I'm living kind of, so cute, so cute. Okay, so this is kind of the shape that we're going for right here. I don't know if there's gonna be enough room for an eyebrow. Hopefully there will be. I got a wig that has no bangs. So hopefully we can fit it in, but I'm gonna do this on the other side and then I will be right back. Hello everyone, welcome back. Okay, so I may have snapped a little bit on the liner. They are not at all even, and they are way too large, but that's okay. We're gonna just keep going. We're gonna keep moving. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my NYX Ultimate Edit Palette, the rainbow one, obviously, very cute. And I think I'm gonna go in with the purple shade this time. I think that's the move. I'm going to take a shadow brush, I'm just gonna dig deep into that purple, just really, really try to get a lot of that pigment on there and just apply it around my eye. Okay, right off the bat, this pigment is not very pigmented at all. Lies, lies and deception. This is not very pigmented. 
Actually, I'm not, I mean, it's, it's probably user error. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm not like the best makeup artist ever to hit the earth, to be on this planet. So it's probably user error, but I mean, it's not my favorite shadow ever. Oh, this is, this is a lot. Hello. Hi. Hello. Did I snap? No, I did not. Absolutely not. Absolutely, I did not snap off. Wig. And we're just gonna pound that shadow in right there. I'm trying to smooth it around to a similar shape, but it's very difficult. I'm gonna try to correct this a little bit with foundation. Cause I went a little bit too much on this side and it's, it's going a little crazy. Kind of make it a little bit more subdued. I want it to be pack a real big punch, but also be really concentrated into one little corner of my face. So I'm gonna keep taking that shadow and just press it right in that one central area to really build up a pigment right there. Oh my gosh. Hi, Fallout. So this is why I do the eyeshadow before the rest of my face because I work with, let's say, affordably priced shadows. So uh, there's a lot of fallout on the face and I don't want that to ruin the rest of my makeup. So I just do it before and it kind of fixes a lot of things. So that's a, that's a better looking crease. It's a lot better than what I was working with before. Are you sure about that? I'm just gonna pound that in on the other side. Let really try to snap off, make a cute little sheet. Right there, brush off the little bit that is currently resting on my face. Cute! Oh my gosh, I'm kind of flitting. Is this nice? So right there, we're just gonna leave that lid there. I'm gonna fan it so hopefully it like dries to the foundation a little bit. Uh, we have to kind of keep the lid a little bit smaller because I didn't leave much room for an eyebrow, which I'm also not that great at doing, so but we're gonna make it work. I think I'm gonna do the bottom area of my eyes. So I'm gonna take the purple eyeshadow again and I'm just gonna wrap it around. Oh wait, you can't even see. Now I'll go over here. I'm gonna wrap it around the bottom right here. And you don't need too terribly much because we don't wanna take up too much real estate on the face, but that's enough. I'm trying to make it a little bit more cylindrical than Trixie's for more of like a Rock'em Sakura kind of look, just so I can be a little bit more differentiated. I'm trying to get to the same side on each side of the face. It's very difficult. They're not very symmetrical, but you know, symmetry comes with time. I'm new. Is that the microwave? Love that. The microwave just said, hi. The color is like bright enough and neon enough that I don't need too terribly much. I'm gonna work this in a little bit more, try to get it like perfectly symmetrical and well, symmetrical as best as I can and I'll be right back. Okay, I added a little bit of a lash line just to give me a guide. It doesn't look good now. It might not look good later, but stick around to find out. Okay, anyway, I'm going in with my NYX Neutrals Palette Ultimate Edit. Oh, I gotta do the YouTuber thing. So I'm a YouTuber now, fierce. Very cute, okay. So we're gonna go in, I think we're gonna have to go in with the darkest shade cause that's just kinda, I think we're going to. Ugh. Brow, brow. Okay, these brows are not gonna be very, mm, they're not gonna be very large, but they're gonna, but they're gonna be big, big size. They're gonna be, do a lot for how small they are. That's kind of a cute shape. Oh my gosh. Did I snap accidentally? Well, I'm gonna have to do that exact same shape on the other side of my face and I have no idea how to do that shape again. <laughs> so bad, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut the cameras. I'm gonna be back on the other side with my brow. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm back. And that's when I knew that I <laughs> up. These brows are a struggle, but I think I know it can help. So what I'm gonna take is I'm gonna take my lighter shade of foundation in 110 porcelain. I think it's the lightest shade they have. I had to get really light because 
pale, so pale. Okay, I'm back with the brush, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a light shade of foundation and kind of etch around the brows to try to save them a little bit. And we're also gonna use this to work into our contour and highlight. Hey, hey, she feels, hey, she feels, hey, she feels, Miss Honey. Okay, that's the first little thing. I'm gonna go around the top of the other one. Cause, Cause symmetry is hard. <laughs> ooh, honey, ooh, mama, ooh, sweetie. I look like I have two different brow stories going on on my face right now, and it is not helping. Let's get some more foundation on here and do the underside of the brows. Highlight under the brow bone, the brow bone. Do you highlight under the brow bone? Listen, this is the important part because the brows are really a struggle under. <gasps> That's a little bit better. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> Never mind. False alarm. I didn't, I did not snap, in fact. I'm kind of just what I'm doing right now is I'm messing everything up and then fixing it. And then, you know, like doing doing that over and over again and hopefully ending up with something nice. Okay, that's gonna be good for now. I'm gonna take my white concealer now. This is the lightest shade I have because it's white. I'm gonna take a little bit under the brow bone and just use that, drag it around to shape it. Hey, she feels, hey, she feels, Miss Honey. That's actually, good. this eye's kind of cute. This eye's kind of cute. This, kinda, this eye is kind of not. <laughs> Hopefully it'll powder down fine. <laughs> Hopefully. Let's move into the face highlighting. That's an important part. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my white concealer and I'm, and I'm gonna trace down the middle of my head. Like, like this, like so. Perfect, okay. This looks crazy right now, and it is, but I'm gonna blend it out. That is so crooked. <laughs> that is so crooked. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Well, I'll fix it with um contour, hopefully. Let me get out my contour shade in coconut. This is 355 Fit Me Stick from Maybelline. I'm just gonna contour down my nose really, really tiny. Oh, that's real cute, ain't it? Oh, fierce, thanks you fierce. Okay, but do you see how I contoured down almost to the edge? It still has a whole chunk of my nose left. I did not do that just so my nose looks shorter and smaller. It is because I have this cute white eyeliner, liquid liner from NYX. It's so adorable. Anyway, what I'm gonna do, I've never done this before, literally. I'm gonna take this little thing and I'm gonna use it to draw a little heart. You know what, we might just have to go with the dot because this is really hard. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna cut this. I'm going to uh, come back with whatever nose contour choice I decide to go with. And you know, we're just, we're just gonna have to live with it, okay? Hello, y'all, I'm back. I actually managed to pull off a little bit of a heart. I was gonna do like a heart that's empty in the middle, but you know what, this is the best we can do. But I did this Morphe concealer. It's kind of lit. It's, it's really nice. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, actually, I'm going to take more of the Morphe concealer. It's like the superstar product of the video. Um, and I'm just going to take this across my cheek right here and highlight. I am very, very fair, but also I can use the white because I'm using so much like dark, dark contouring. I'm gonna need the white to kind of differentiate it. So we're gonna take our sponge and really buff this out really quick, so. See how that just brings those parts of my face forward? That's called light and shadow. Called Shadow and Bone, now available on Netflix. I really am turning into Trixie Mattel, I hope. I hope, sis. Trixie is literally like my idol. I love Trixie Mattel. She's literally like best human being alive. Like. 
who who can compete? Not me, that's for sure, honey. But hopefully soon. <laughs> I don't know. I just I love Trixie. I made this whole video to test out her products. I know it's taking a really long time, but I really want this vegan to be good because I want Trixie to see it. Because I don't know. Trixie and Katya stand both of them. Go watch um because it's it's so great. But after you watch this video, after you watch this video, hey, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, that was a good tongue pop. Can you even? The makeup, the whole process of it, for me at least, has been you do something, you do another thing, you mess it up, and then you try to fix it. And it's a lot of repetitive, like, fixing it. But it's worth it because it looks really good in the end. To me, my delusional bootay. Yeah, it looks, oof. So we're gonna go in with our coconut contour. Ah alliteration. I'm just gonna go down a little bit more than I need to because I can always um cut it with the white and it's it's gonna still look good. Cause the white is so opaque. I'm very impressed with that. Morphe, you snapped. This is great. Oh my gosh, I really am gonna be out of this white concealer though. It is, I'm really using a lot. It is very full coverage though, it's so nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little Actually, I think I can just draw it on with the applicator. Oh, gorge, so gorge. That really made it pop out and pop off. Am I living? Am I living? I think I am, hello. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna powder now. So I'm gonna take my really nice HD finishing powder from NYX. It's so good, I love it. I love, 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 love it. And I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna, I'm getting a little nervous about my nose. So I'm gonna powder this baby before it goes away. I really wanna powder that heart because it, it seems like it needs to be powdered a little bit. And then we're gonna powder the high planes of the face with this. Yes, and I just went down my entire thing with that. And then we're just gonna kinda get a, li a little bit looser of the powder and just kinda pat it around the other areas of the face like so. You know, just kinda, Set them to set it and forget it. And then we're gonna take our giant brush. I'm gonna use this one. It, it has little stuff in it, do you see? Whoa! It's so cute, I love it. I got it from Walmart. Do you see how they made the highlights pop so much? Okay, but now we've run into a little bit of a problem, which is that my light or my darks are not dark enough now. Actually, I should cream contour my jaw. I just contoured a little bit just so it's more soft. How much softer can it be? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so nice. I'm really feeling the fantasy now. I'm like, I'm living. I'm really like, okay. This is kind of cute. It's kind of cute. I like it. The brow bone. Do you ever highlight under the brow bone? See, that kind of just brings it together a little bit. Now, I'll only brush off a little bit with this one. Oh, do you see how it brings it all together? But you know what is really gonna bring it all together? It is my bronzer from NYX that I was using in the mirror earlier. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the all over face brush now that we used it all over our face. And we're gonna dip it into this bronzer and just bronze up our life. We're gonna take my <laughs> Trixie Cosmetics order gift card because that's what I have lying around to cut my cheek with. And we're just gonna bronze it up. That is so lit. I love it. I'm living. Isn't that good? <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh, I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally like in my house just living because of this bronzer. It's so nice. I got it for free because I went to Ulta and I bought a bunch of makeup and they were like, here, take a free bronzer. And I was like, I ain't complaining. I am not complaining, honey. Okay, this is very, this is a very dark contour, but you know what? We're really, my makeup is all about, well, it's basically Trixie and Rock'em Sockers makeup combined together. Um, I, I'm not the most original, but I try to do it as best as I can. It all relies on like, um, really dark darks and really light lights, you know what I mean? Isn't that nose like pinpoint snatched front? 
what I'm gonna do is since we've done a lot of the face powdering, some of the uh, intensity of the eyeshadow has gone away. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add that right back in, honey. Mama. Oh yes, okay. What we're gonna do with this is we're going to go in with this white concealer. I'm gonna do just a little lid right here. That's, that actually, ooh, ooh. That actually kind of worked. Who'd have thunk? Um, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, see how that one is cleaner than this one? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tiny little, tiny little brush and we're just gonna go around and line this a little bit with the... Oh, that's actually kind of cute. That's actually kind of cute. Okay. I'm gonna leave it because I think this is the best I'm gonna do. And it's now time for the big finale. Okay. This is gonna be a little harrowing because I don't have a really great liner that I can fill all this in with. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to wet this brush that I pretty much exclusively use for black eyeshadow. I don't really use it for anything else because then it contaminates everything else because black eyeshadow is very dark. It very really rarely ever washes off. So I'm gonna take this into my black eyeshadow, which is actually a really nice eyeshadow. It's from Maybelline. It's just this tiny little one. That's pretty nice. And I'll just go in. I gotta paint it on like paint, honey. Oh, this is not, this is not dark enough. Ah! Oh well. I'm really trying, y'all. I'm really trying. That's not terrible. It's not the worst, but it's not good at all. I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet and use some of my liquid liner. I had to cut that a little bit short. This is looking very interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Obviously the word that you want to describe your makeup. Okay, you know what? For this eye, I'm just gonna take the easy way out. This is what I'm talking about. Dark, black, not gray, black. Ah! <laughs> what I'm gonna do now is because I outlined in that, I'm gonna go in with my um, gray to keep it symmetrical. It's kind of coming together though. I'm kind of living, this is cute. I love it. Mm. <laughs> Okay, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to fill in these eyes, get them a little bit more dark somehow, and I will be right back so we can start the under the eye liner. Okay, so I think I've gotten to the point where it's not really gonna get any better with the eye situation, but I'm finally ready to do the under eye situation and hopefully finish this look and stun. I'm gonna take this tiny little Kind of little brush right here. I'm just gonna use what's on the little applicator. Cause the applicator can be hard to use for like really precise work. And I'm just gonna do a little outline right here. Okay, that's kind of an outline. That's something, that's, it's something, it started. <laughs> Was that even at all? Kind of, a little bit, a little bit more than I expected, Hanny. Okay, I'm back. I actually decided to do a coat of the liquid under the eyes one more time. <gasps> do I like this? Do I kind of like this? Oh my gosh! I actually am kind of living. I think it's because it's kind of completed the whole look. I am gonna go in with, I think my more specific. This is like a smaller liner from NYX. It's the Epic Ink Liner. I really like this liner. It's very nice. I'm gonna go under and connect just a little bit. Oh, that's the move. That's the move. Okay. Well, it's not as pointy on the other side. What I can do is use some eyeshadow to make it pointy. Oh, this is cute. This is really cute. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set it with this white HD finishing powder. There we go. Yes, I am the moment. We been new. 
celebratory tongue pop. Okay, moving on. We are gonna do the lips. This makeup has been a struggle so far, but at least I know it can count on the NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Lip Liner. So nice, I love this lip liner. Okay, on this channel, we overline our lips to heck. So if you don't love that, I'm really, really sorry. Oh, see, that's a template. <laughs> you can't really see it. This looks like an acne, which is true. Okay, that was not terrible. Uh, but I went with a red lip liner because they had no good orange liners. They were all pretty expensive. And the red is gonna kind of deepen the orange to make it look like really cute. Now, thank you so much for waiting this is the moment that you have been looking for. I am going to be trying the Model Actress Lipstick from Trixie Cosmetics. It's kind of new. I don't know if it's like, I know I got it in the restock of Mod About You. I think it might be new, but it's so cute though. I love it. it it's really nice. But let me just apply it, so. Did I snap? Did I snap off wig go in? Or is it just the product that's really good? Honestly, it's probably the product. The, this is such a good lipstick. It even smells good. It even smells good. You guys, if you have not bought this lipstick, so good. It, it's amazing. Like don't judge it by my makeup because my makeup artistry is not great, but it's, it's so, oh my gosh. Like I'm living. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna do a few finishing touches um, really quick. I'll be back and we are going to try the mod about you blush. I am back, I have put on mascara. I kinda finished the under eyes a little bit. Ugh, I love this makeup so much. It's a little bit Trixie Nutel, a little bit Rock'em Soccer, a little bit um, my own personal brand of incompetence. We are just missing one more thing. And that is the star of the show, the mod about you, blush palette. Oh my gosh, this blush palette is so amazing. It's literally probably my favorite product ever. Literally go buy it right now. This makeup is no justice to it. It is so good. Same with the lipstick, just please buy it. Please buy her products. This woman, she works so hard for all of us. But anyway, I'm gonna take a little bit of Go Go Girl because we want to be extra. We want to be. So we're just going to put that on the back pocket of the cheek. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. I'm getting into the tricks with my mouth. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So good. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, my gosh. This is the start of the show. literally amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling about how great this blush is. It's so good, but I'm going to be back in a wig that I saw myself using a James Mansfield wig tutorial and some lashes. But anyway, I will be back. Peace. Welcome back. This is the final result. <laughs> I'm so happy with it legitimately. Okay, it looks way better from farther away. Um, but it, it actually, it turned out kind of. I'm a little bit surprised. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And it would mean so much if you would comment down below what you think about the look. If you stayed this far, I truly am like so thankful to you. Like <laughs> this means so much to me. And if you are ready to stick around for the journey, for the ride, for the gig, then please turn on those post notifications. Make sure that you get notified when I upload, which will I think be every week. So I'm pretty excited about that. Thank you again so much for watching. Peace.